are the Sahaba, first to fall into the bid'ah of Irja, are the Sahaba. How you speak about Sahaba like that? And likewise, the, the... here, Abdulillah again misquotes. It's a usual habit for the people. They're known for uh, to misquote and to mistranslate. It's sad that the scenario that these people display themselves in front of the people as so reliable, trustworthy individuals in what they say and narrate, and they refer to themselves as a people of narrations, yet they can't even get the narration correct. This is a sad scenario. So, here, he said, Abdulillah, that Sheikh Yahya said, the first to partake in irja are the Sahabas. He says, the first to fall into the bid'ah of irja are the Sahabas. Look at it again, how he tangles around with words. What Abdullah is trying to quote is a statement that was uttered by Sheikh Yahya al-Hajuri when he was teaching at Tahawiya in the year 2000, the month April. The year 2000, month April, where now we're in the year 2018, and yani over a decade ago. And while Sh- yani Sheikh Mubil was alive at that time, and after Sheikh Mubil died in the year Rabi' al-Akhir of the year 2001, about five months later, with the rise of the fitna of the companions of Abdul Hassan Maribi, there, with their jealousy and envy, the fact that Sheikh was given the chair, they come out just five months after holding this criticism to bring it out upon Sheikh after the death of Sheikh Mubin. And they, so Sheikh responds in the year 2001. So the uh, Five months later, Sheikh Yahya came with the audio to respond to the criticism of the followers of Abu Hassan Maribi. So these are the original source of these people. The companions of Abu Hassan Maribi. They claim to be uh, those who warn and not take from him. Yet, these points that they're bringing up now are the same points that Abu Hassan Maribi brought. Nothing different. And we challenge them to say no otherwise. So these are the people repeating the same stuff that are more than a decade ago, the companions of Al-Hasil al Maribi. Which they had on Sheikh al Hajuri and they're bringing it back in a new clothing now in the year 2008. This is sick that a person repeat, brings back points that, uh, that are found over a decade ago and brings it in a new clothing to display the people as if this has been said yesterday or day before or something time recent. In all case, this doubt concerning this topic in particular has been clarified in a 27-page PDF already in English. Therefore, we don't want to take too much time on this accusation, inshallah. I say the matter relating to Sheikh Yahya, quoting the following statement from Ibn Abi al-Izz, rahimahullah, in his Sharh of Tahawiyah, where he, rahimahullah, said, in, a, in opposition to the Murji'a, whereas there, eh, the Murji'a, their doubt had occurred to some of the earlier ones. Page 252 of the print Darul Ghad al Jadid. This is what Sheikh Yahya quoted and he was speaking upon. However, shortly after the year 2001, Sheikh Yahya announced that the quote of Ibn Abil Iz is not the same as the speech of Ibn Taymiyyah and his Majmu'a Fatawa. Therefore, Sheikh Yahya announced that that previous quote that he shared from Ibn Abil Iz was a mistake from him. And he requested that the brothers avoid delving into this matter. It was a simple matter that was clarified long ago, shortly after the year 2001. And now we're in the year 2018. These are from the characteristics of the Haddadiyya. They will constantly try to label a person with something that he's innocent from. So, and we say, yeah, if these people are really truthful in their criticism, they will try to come and say the same about Sheikh Muhammad Amman al Jami, rahimahullah. Since when he quoted the uh, aforementioned statement of Ibn Abil Iz, rahimahullah, he commented by saying, from the Sahaba, rather from the foremost to accept Islam due to their misunderstanding of the verse. So here, Muhammad Amman al Jami says, commenting upon the statements of Ibn Abil Iz. He said, more than what Sheikh Yahya said, and they don't come and attack Sheikh Muhammad al Jami because the issue to them is let's get revenge against Sheikh Yahya because he advised us. 
This is the reality, brothers. Also, Abdulillah, we're going to see that he misquotes again <coughs> regarding the next <coughs> affair. And you're going to see, Kafa bil mar'i nublan an tu'ad ma'ayibu. As been said, it is sufficient as nobility for a person's errors and mistakes to be counted. They went through the tapes of Sheikh Yahya, dug into his books, and they brought a number of affairs that was be able to be enumerated and counted. That's a virtue, a virtue indeed. Kafa bil mar'i nublan an tu'adda ma'ayibu. It is sufficient as nobility for a person that when you on search for a person's errors and mistakes, that you find affairs that are counted on the fingers of the person. <coughs>